Welcome back. You have just a couple of weeks to get your taxes in and some local college students are helping people meet that deadline. Joining me now is Nicole Morris, a CPA and professor of accounting at Champlain College. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's start with this program itself. Tell me how it works and who it helps. So this is a community partnership with Champlain College and the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program is actually sponsored by the IRS. Our direct community partner is CBOEO, so Champlain, off, Champlain Valley Office of Economic Opportunity. And so we work with their site coordinator to really create a partnership where they come in and they train our students. And then our students actually volunteer in completing tax returns for low, moderately low income. So anyone with an income under 60,000, as well as elderly and persons with disabilities. And talk to me about how this program works. Do people reach out to you? Does CBOEO send you people? How does, how does that play out? So any Vermonter can actually reach out through 211 in order to schedule an appointment should they meet that eligibility criteria. And so all of the appointments are really held through uh, Champlain Valley Economic Opportunity Office. And the appointments come there. There's also walk-ins that are accepted in Chittenden County. The University Mall is actually the site. Um, and so a lot of broad access started on February 1st and will run and through tax day. And about how many people does this help? So it's hard to say within the context of Vermont. I think one of the things that we really appreciate your partnership in doing is getting the word out um, to all eligible Vermonters. But truly in the past, in last year, we actually completed 1,400 tax returns and awarded uh, approximately $2.7 million in eligible refunds. So impacts a, a multitude of Vermonters. And is this something you've been doing for many years or is this pretty new? So actually Champlain has Champlain College has one of the oldest partnerships with CBOEO. We've been doing this for about 30 years um, and have really uh, just had a tremendous partnership with CBOEO to really give our students experiential learning opportunities while having that really uh, intentional give back to the community. And what do the students get out of it? So Champlain College really prides itself on experiential learning opportunities for students. So not only in this particular example do they get the opportunity to really feel good about the about the experience that they're offering, um, but they're completing tax returns. And so for students that are studying accounting or finance, we also have students from a, across a variety of disciplines here at Champlain that do this as a volunteer opportunity. Um, but this is a one credit class here at Champlain. So students are uh, committed to up to 40 hours. Some students really just appreciate the relationships that they're cultivating. So they do go on to, to offer more than just the 40 hours that's required for the one credit class. And are there people who are maybe concerned about having a student do their taxes and then how do you alleviate some of those concerns? So all of our students actually go through a three-day IRS sponsored training, um, and that actually happens before they touch any students' tax returns. And so we haven't had a, we haven't had any concerns um, from the general population. But all of the tax returns are actually reviewed by someone who um, does have more significant tax experience. So all the students are mentored, and it's very much an intentional experience where there's a partnership with both the the Vermonter, the taxpayer, as well as the student who has actually become third and is eligible to have their their to actually do this tax review and then there is a review perspective as well built into the process and we will have more information for anyone who might need to reach out on our website with this story Nicole Morris thank you so much for your time today thank you tax day of course is April 18th and don't be surprised if your refund is a smaller this year the IRS says the average refund dropped from about thirty two hundred dollars to twenty nine hundred dollars one reason for that decrease pandemic era provisions like the expanded child credit have expired. Still, the total number of people getting refunds is up.